wise priest. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I have come to you with a prophetic dream. I had a prophetic dream that I feel is necessary for me to share with the entire world. This dream pertains to the present condition of the church, the present condition of the body of Christ, the present condition of the leadership in most of the churches that we attend. There are some things and details that I believe we must take heed and even notice of for the time that we're living in calls for a greater dimension of discernment. There are people that are being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine because they are falling susceptible to error. The Bible speaks about error. There are people that operate and move in error. And that is what is seemingly growing in the churches is error. People in leadership, people in the body of Christ being deceived, being deluded, their expectation is decreasing. Their longing is for the wrong things. Hallelujah. And so I want to share this particular dream as I wrote it. And I'm going to break it down. And I believe the world has got to hear this dream. Because there are many people that are still asleep. I want to speak to you as a prophet. This is an urgent 911 call to repentance. It's a 911 call to the body of Christ to begin to arise and to put your houses in order. Because there's disorder in the church. Whenever there's disorder, the presence of God is absent. I want you to hear me closely. Lately, the Lord has been speaking to me about order and there are people that are disorderly. There are people that are out of order. There are people that are engaging in the very things that contrast uh, the will of God. And so I feel it's imperative and even incumbent upon me to share the dimensions of this prophetic dream. And I believe that many people that are watching will be transformed. Many people watching will be convicted for I believe it is time for people to begin to see things in the dimension of how God sees it. And I am grateful to God that he would show me such a dream. Praise the Lord. So in the dream, I was at a church with my mother and sister, but the presiding pastor was absent and I was given an opportunity to speak for five minutes together with others. I was literally told to talk about the weather and to speak for exactly five minutes, but I wasn't about to speak about the weather. How can we be announcing weather in the church? What an irrelevant subject. However, I spoke last. As I started speaking, the enemy shut a part of my lip. Literally, my lip was shut. I could barely speak. I wanted to speak, but, but words were coming out, but it was a great struggle. It seemed like I was contending with the principality in that atmosphere. Meaning there was something so great. There was such a strong man in the atmosphere that was, that was, that was causing such a heavy resistance that I was speaking but struggling. My lips were sealed. Ah, my God. Hallelujah. <laughs> As I began to speak, the pastor of the day sat down and the church stopped looking at me. When I started saying God is about to uplift his people, they all said amen. They became hyperactive when they heard that God was going to bless them, that God was going to uplift them. My God, then when I started telling them you have to, when I started telling them that you have become too busy for God, you only need him when someone is in hospital. My God, when your rent is not paid, when you have nothing. I even told them that the enemy has shut my lip. There was such a heavy resistance in the atmosphere. My God, these people would not listen. It seemed like I was in an American church and I believe that God wants to address the American church, the state of America. My God, I was in a, an American church. My God, they were stiff necked and obstinate people who would not heed. When I started crying and telling them to repent, the lady came and snatched the microphone from me. They didn't even clap. The people before me were mocking God. One said, God is the father of the children on the right side of the church. These people were literally having discussions as the word of the Lord was being released. The captivity of the people in this nation 
who has blinded his people, having ears but not hearing, my God, having eyes but not perceiving, they had no reverence for God. I have never encountered such a strong resistance like I did. The enemy literally sealed my lips that I did not, that I had to struggle to speak through a small space in my mouth. What is wrong with our generation? Why do we only seek God in need? Abandon God when things are going all right? What has happened to us? I was literally called from the back to come forth. We have become comfortable in the flesh. Lord have mercy. The word of the Lord to America is humble yourselves before the great I am. Put away your pride and arrogance and seek my face. America, humble yourselves. Do not depart from the truth. Church has become a place of entertainment and not glory. Why do people love stale, dead churches? We have to change our ways. America, I want you to hear me closely. They had told me to go and speak about the weather. Now, when we think about the context of weather, I was taken to the book of Luke. Luke chapter, uh, uh, Luke chapter 12, verses 54. And the Bible says, he said to the crowd, when you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say, it is going to rain and it does. And when the south wind blows, you say it is going to be hot and it is, and it is hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know how to interpret the present time? Why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? As you are going with your adversary to the magistrate, try. I want you to hear me closely. There are people in our generation that are, that are in the flesh. They have become news anchors, people that are forecasting what is going to happen as they, as, 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 as they perceive what has happened in the formation of the clouds. They're able to determine whether it's going to rain, whether it's going to snow. They, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have become news anchors that, are, that have been commissioned to... to, to, to <laughs> What I hear is that the church has opened a major door for the enemy to come and deceive them. The church has gravitated more towards the hearing of blessings, but the church has turned mute to the word of repentance. Makura hara karia sura lepele kida sunda bakados leperi kandolo kusaba. The church is running towards prophecy but they are not running towards the word of God no one is seeking after the heart of God they all want a prophetic word they get excited when a prophetic word is released concerning a blessing that pertains to that which is materialistic but no one is seeking after that which enriches the soul no one is seeking after the anchor of their soul no one is seeking after the heart of God they have turned away from God they have itched ears they can no longer endure sound doctrine people of God we are living in the last days they are people that have been plagued with an infirmity that can only come through deception Deception has come in through a door. This door has been opened by itching ears. People of God, hear me closely. We have broken the heart of God, yet God has raised up prophetic voices that are going and moving into places, domains, territories to decree the word of the Lord, but the people do not want to hear. They do not want to listen. They have muted their ears to the word of repentance. We have become flesh oriented. America, the Lord is saying, repent. Humble yourselves before the Lord. Makura harakaya sida lakura handa lepere zarobo sanda lepabos lakia zerebele kandovo kosaba. You have disguised yourselves to appear as though you are something that you are not, yet God sees. 
beyond the layers. God sees beyond the mask. You can conceal your identity before men. You can even feign to worship, but God sees the intentions of your heart. You cannot deceive God. Woo! I feel the anointing. America, the Lord is calling you to repent. America, the Lord is calling you to repent. The Lord is calling you to repent. In the dream, as I began to speak a word of conviction, they took the mic from me because they could not endure. Ah, Yarama Sokoyanda. I want to speak to the church in America. Run away from churches that do not preach on repentance. Run away from churches that are void of the glory of God. Run away from churches, my God, that celebrate Ichabod. Run away from churches, my God, that tell you you can live how you want to live. My God, that you can speak how you want to speak. My God, run away from churches where there's no conviction. Run away from churches, my God, where God is not exalted. Where they're not preaching about the cross. Where they're not preaching about resurrection. My God, where they're not preach it my god the word of god the logos the scriptures my god run away from churches where all they tell you is good run away from prophets where all they prophesy is good but they never prophesy those secret things that you're doing in darkness run away from those churches my god for judgment must begin in the house of the lord god has had it with a lukewarm church God has had it with an obstinate stiff-necked people that only need God when they have a need. That only seek God when they, when they need rent money. They only seek God, my God, when uh, their cars are about to be repossessed. They only seek God when their houses are about to be foreclosed. My God, but when everything is going right, uh, they forsake the Father. I feel that I need to Share this dream with the whole world and many of you that are watching. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God. Harama so rama si sianda. La barriando bo sande de de biasa. Le porra handa ba le besi ando bo cosa. Repent, 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 repent. America, repent. Every church, ah, my God. My God that has itching ears. Run into words prophecies of good things. My God, but not run into words the word of God. My God, God wants your hearts right. My God, your hearts are in the wrong place. Your minds are in the wrong places. My God, God wants alignment. God desires order. My God, God desires people that will seek after his righteousness. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto thee. My God, the church, get right with God. My God, for there will be a visitation of judgment. Even in the churches, if we do not turn away from the very things that we are doing. No one is preaching on holiness. No one is preaching on righteous living. No one is preaching on turning away from homosexuality. My God, from turning away from lesbianism. My God, from turning away from perversion, from turning away from iniquity, no one is preaching on the truth. No one is preaching the gospel. My God, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. We have to preach Christ and we have to preach his righteousness. God did not just call us to preach on the blessings. God did not just call us to preach on materials. God did not call us to be motivational speakers. My God, but to preach the word of God. My God, the Bible says, preach the gospel to the poor. My God, he has called us to go into Judea, Samaria. My God, my God, into Jerusalem and to all the ends of the earth to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord to, to proclaim the gospel, to proclaim the word of God. Church, wake up. 
Church, wake up. Church, wake up. Church, wake up. Church, wake up. This is a warning for the church. Church, wake up. Church, wake up. God has had it with the iniquity in the church. Church, wake up. Church, wake up. Stop living a lie. I see the church in the ICU. I literally see the church in a coma. The church is literally on life support. My God, my God. And it's going to take a miracle for you to come out of this state, this condition. You're in a bedridden condition and God wants to save you. The Bible says in Romans 10, 13, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You're in a bedridden state and you need God to save you. Come out of that sleep. Come out of that deception. Come out of that wickedness. God wants to save you, church. How long are you going to live like wicked people, like the heathens? God is calling even the prodigals to come home. You have deserted your first love. Church, repent for judgment is coming. If we do not repent, hear the word of the Lord through the mouth of his prophet. If I be a man of God, I have decreed it. People of God, repent. I beg you, repent. Repent, repent, repent. My God, all we want to hear is that which is irrelevant. Nobody wants to hear the true gospel. Where are the preachers that are going to preach salvation? Where are the preachers that are going to preach repentance? Where are the preachers that are going to preach holiness? I want to, pr I, I want to speak to the preachers. Repent. Repent for only prophesying blessings prophesying houses and cars uh, repent repent says the lord for many will get unto me on that day and they will say lord lord did i not prophesy in your name did i not heal the sick in your name did i not raise the dead did i not perform all these wonderful things and works uh, in your name but i will say depart from me you workers of lawlessness i never knew you church wake up and repent in the name of Jesus this is wise preach this is apostle wise preach wise preach ministries ah, Jesus glory to God thank you for watching please visit www.wisepreach.com subscribe to this channel and God will bless you hallelujah but repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Please share this broadcast. A million people need to hear this word in the name of Jesus. Repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand.